think of my new rocking chair I've been working on it every night and day Ever since you walked away from here I'm so glad to see you I'm in shock Just rock, rock away, rock away. All your tears and regret. Hi, welcome back to another one chart lesson. Today we are doing a fantastic song by Eric Bibb called Rocking Chair. Now it's pretty simple, but it's quite tricky. So there's two parts and two parts only to it A and a B section. We're going to take you through both of those and I'll show you everything you need to know. Download your chart and let's get started. First of all, we are detuning our E string down to a D. So we're in drop D tuning and we're also using a capo on the first fret, which means we're in the key of D sharp, but do that. First of all, drop your easiest way to do that. I'm going to show you really quickly. So the quickest way and the easiest way to get down into this tuning that we need is simply take your E string and match it up with your open D string. Go down a little bit below that D and gradually come up from the flat side of D so that your bottom E string is nicely tuned up and tensioned up, it won't slip. Then we whack our capo on the first fret. We're starting here with our second finger on the G string second fret, third finger on the B string third fret. And our thumb takes the open E string. Then our pinky goes up to four on the E string. Next note is the open A string. Then we go A string second fret with our first finger. But when we do that, our pinky also goes onto the G string 4th fret. And up until the point where you put your pinky on that 4th fret G string, you have to keep these two notes ringing on for as long as possible, right up to the point where you play that next pair of notes there. That's the way that Eric plays it. You've, you've got to do that, otherwise the, the riff doesn't sound quite as flowing and as beautifully smooth as the way he does it. So after you do that, on let's say the B, which is the 2nd fret A string, come back down to the open A string, then your two fingers on the G and B go to the 2nd fret, then on the first beat of the next riff, you play the open E string again, but at the same time as you do that E string, your third finger, yes, your third finger, slides up from the, from the B string second fret, slides up to the three. So you do this, ready? The whole riff. And then you start again. Try and keep those notes ringing as you can. That's it. That's the A section. Right? That's the A section. The B section goes through kind of three chords, I guess you'd say. First of all, at the end of that A section riff, don't go past that open A string note. Don't go down to those at the end of the A section because what you're doing is you're going, you're putting your pinky on the fifth fret E string, 
playing the open G and B strings, 2nd fret A string, open D string, then open D string again, quickly have it onto 2, play those G and B strings again, come down back to the open D string, so like this. Then the next chord, move down to the 3rd fret, Put your first finger on the first fret B string, open A string, third fret A string, hammer onto the second fret D string from an open string, play those two higher strings again, and come back to the third fret A string, so like this. Got that? Back to the riff. Then reach over to the second fret E string and with your second and third fingers grab the three, grab the third fret B string and E string. Play them alternately like that. Then straight away jump to 4th fret E string and your 1st finger then takes those 3rd fret notes on the B and E strings. Up to 5th fret E string, 6th fret E string but don't play those top notes now. So you go. Very last thing you do is you take the open A string and you slide up to those 3rd fret notes again from the 2nd fret. Like that. So it sounds like this. Rock away, rock away. That little slide's got to be nice and clean, as clean as you can get it, and as sustained and as flowing as you can get it. They are the two sections to the song. I'm going to play the whole thing through without trying to sing it very slowly. So you can practice that once through and then you're on your own. That's it, that's the whole song. It goes A section, B section, A section, B section, then I think two A sections, B section, A section, B section. It's pretty straightforward, you listen to it, you'll hear it. The, the, the format of the song is quite, quite simple. Those riffs, the, the thing is to get those riffs sounding as smooth and laconic, if I can use that word, smooth and laid back, clear, ringing on. That's the challenge with this song. Good luck with it. Let me know how you go. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again here soon for another lesson next week.